We only do have one contract with Mosley because they need to going on here? Uh, come on, sir. I'll tell you. Uh, that's why I try to say I was independent because he's prying too much. I was trying to get the, the thing away from you guys. Mayor's prying way too much into like people's contracts and stuff like that. Oh, uh, well, sorry. Come in. Hey, Mr. Luciano. Hey, Jason. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, good, good. The disguise of saying, "Oh, guys get robbed," why, like, and stuff like that. He's asking specifically, "Why are you guys getting robbed in the market?" And he's trying to get into your business details. None of his business. That's why I try to take it away from you, saying I'm independent and stuff like that. But I guess you guys oh, went back why? into it. Why is he prying? I don't know why he's prying. The, the, this is the guy that don't make sure I'm whispering. I forget this is the guy that parted Mr. K. Like, I don't trust this mayor, and you shouldn't either. Oh shit! You think this mayor guy's in cahoots right now with uh, with Chain Gang? I I just don't trust him as far as I can throw him. He pardoned Mr. K, and he had a PD gun on him that he's used multiple times against us. Okay, well, okay. That's I try to say, hey, I'm independent, I'm separate from you guys, but you circled it back, and I don't think Cloak wanted to answer those questions. Yeah. Okay. Well. Let's go see what he's saying. I don't know shit about this mayor, man. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. They just expect you to go out there and be firm on selling it at Ada, at Ada material and then expect you to just take the bullet or knife. To be honest, I mean, now that we have gun licenses, we're working on doing that. You hear him now, right? Precautions. Mm. Don't get robbed. These robberies started up again recently. Normally, we take another vehicular or something and we have somebody riding. And that vehicular ready to call the coppers. I mean, there we've tried to, uh, you know, have negotiation with these robbers, but these people don't like to negotiate. Yeah, I, I joined them as friends today, and I literally just have a gun out the entire time nope. while we're collecting garbage because you never know. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you know, what are you gonna do? Use them yeah. to defend your friends, or are you just gonna get shot and robbed anyways? Yeah, I just got That's my gun license like. today, so. Are they paying for your Are they paying for your license? I pay for it myself. <laughs> but I'm what, also what, like the CEO, so. What support is being given to you by your boss? Like, That's do you guys question? Like, why continue working for the LSSD if you aren't allowed to? Like, what's the point? Like, I don't well, get it's it. It's like protection in numbers mainly. Like the yeah. more people you work with, so a lot of people run these uh, sanitation on these sanitation rucks trucks and duos, but we always have a full squad because we are mm -hmm. one of the few groups that actually have a good amount of people to run sanitation with. And uh, that way, the person in the front of the vehicular can call the cops. Hopefully, you get a quick response from the coppers. Uh, ideally somebody running behind you in a vehicular hopefully they have a gun if you get robbed then they can block them in your defense they want you to sell for six per these gangsters yeah these gangsters want us to sell for six per um how badly would that hurt your bottom line we will lose all of our employees why we pay our employees 6.5 if we pay them any lower they're all just gonna dip these guys, I mean, there's no, like, unfortunately, I don't think we can even negotiate for, like, a seven, because these guys are so hard-pressed on a six. Can I say something here, please? Yeah. Hope well, we you had a good-ass stream, man. Thank you so like much again. Welcome, everybody. How you I doing? Mean, excuse me, but I feel like that's just good a to see you all. rough decision, because you're then bending the knee to exactly what they want, and then they end up monopolizing the entire market here. Exactly. We're going to use this oh, oh, hold on, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. The LSSD is monopolizing the market right now. Oh, no, we don't actually. There's a lot of independent. Damn, workers. Yeah. We, we I'm don't an independent contractor. I'm an independent contractor and I have no problem selling between yeah. six and eight. We, we truly don't have a monopoly. I also don't work for them, but that's not a, yeah, that's not a verbal boxing either. argument. That's a stupid, you know, argument to that. It is true that no matter what, there will be somebody at the top who controls the majority of the market. Right. And even from an outsider, I think that's totally fair. 
But at the same time, I think the intent that the LSSD has is that there are still people getting a profit at each step. As yeah, there's a lot of people besides us. Be to just take and I'll, money I'll use this as an example. Uh, the next storm they sell for 10 and 12. There are people that sell for 10 and 12 for materials. Yeah. Why? Because they can. That's, like I said, there's nobody controlling it. It's Supply up to whoever down. sells it. Mm. Prices are generally going to write they're, they're bottom out to whatever the market can bear. Uh, so to all, all of my independent contractors here, how much do you guys typically sell your ship for? Uh, Usually eight. Recently six because of the gangsters, but Is before that... It, that it, hold on. When, when you're selling for six, you, you did that because you were forced to? Yeah, getting threatened, forced to. So, do uh, these do these gangsters know that you're selling for six? Yes, they come up to you, ask if you're selling for six. They want you to paint your truck yellow. Um, they remember <laughs> who you are. You do that, um, and you still you for sell it for eight. That's... <laughs> but yeah, like eight, eight is generally what I can sell mine for. If people are desperate for circuit boards, I can get ten to twelve. Um, but it really just depends on how desperate people are or or how your loyal... truck there? no no my truck's not out right now i don't know Who, who's whose yellow truck is that oh wow what a great fucking snitch <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker <laughs> it's my truck <laughs> so are you are you selling for six <laughs> fuck no <laughs> so you're just saying you're selling for six exactly yeah. you fucking okay you yeah no yeah we all oh, just say shit. Yeah, you say it, but like with people like me, I have to go undercover because they know who I am. Literally, they kidnapped me yesterday, asked if I sold, was selling for six, and then they were like, I said no, and they were like, you're lying, and they threatened to cut my pinky off. Huh. Jesus. Okay, well, why not everyone just agree to that price? I mean, I anything think higher than six is good. giving into the problem, right? Like, giving into them being able to control the market. Do you think they should be able to control a market just because they're gang and have terrorists. guns? Right. Yeah. yeah, why, why do we, we have to be the ones to do that? We can't negotiate with them. They don't want to negotiate. At the end of the day, you have two choices, okay? Three choices. One, you do what I would do if I was in your situation. I would mask up and I would hunt these guys, okay? And I would take my ship back, okay? Obviously, you guys are going to do that because you don't have the fucking equipment to do that. Two, you can negotiate. Uh, you can accept this higher drop-off pay uh, in order to hopefully recoup some losses and be able to do your job without fear of getting shot up because you guys have an understanding and agreement with these people. Or three, you can, you can whine and preach that you shouldn't have to bend the knee to these people, but in, in actuality, the only difference between you and them is that you are trying to do it in a different way. Sure, they have a gun. Sure, they have a gun pointed to your head, but at the end of the day... Uh, might makes right in this situation because the LSPD is not doing their fucking job and you have to understand that you you need to look out for yourselves first and if you are content with getting bullets in the head because your bosses are telling you that you can't sell for a certain price or you guys are just not willing to sell for that price you you need to do what is safe for you all right here yeah. here's here's my offer to the LSSD and all independent contractors here okay I can raise your pay to 85 per drop off mm. uh Try to negotiate for 6.5 with these gangsters or a lower price in general. Uh, uh, and if you guys are able to do that, then I will raise your pay. Okay? That's all I can do. You're saying if we try to negotiate, you'll raise the pay? If you successfully negotiate. If they so agree. This is upon success, being successful because it's it's unlikely we're gonna be successful mr mayor even with those prices these guys like i said there's no talking to them and even then i, mean, I can try but criminals. i'll be right back i am trying to show you that the fantasy world that you want to exist does not exist and might not ever exist and i'm offering you a solution to your problem uh, i'm not mm. here to listen to your oh what if they don't agree or oh what the so i should keep getting shot blah 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 if you want the change to happen you gotta make it happen and i'm offering you a golden ticket to make it happen okay uh that is that is what i offer <laughs> tell your friends uh negotiate do something yeah. uh or otherwise do keep bending over and do yeah. keep taking it that could be a thing. wind up that's our mayor eh? that's our fucking mayor bravo yeah.
Bravo! And, uh, That's a fucking mate. There's a lot more area for them to search for us. You got something you want to say? Yeah. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about? That's right. Who are you? How much did they pay you uh, to come down here and uh, spill yeah. all this fucking nonsense, eh? Zero, motherfucker, because unlike you, I actually give a shit about these people and I don't want to see them get shot. You're asking you them to bend the fucking to pinch, yeah, I'm asking them to value their lives more than the two dollars you want to pocket, you greedy prick! You done shouting? No! Alright, go ahead. Continue shouting. Who do you work for? That's none of your business. Yeah, I think I know who you work for. Okay, good for you. Do these do all these guys work for you too? Maybe. Yeah. It's none of your business either. Uh, see, the thing is, if you weren't such a pussy, you could probably protect these people. But instead, you would rather sit by the wayside and do nothing while they continue to get terrorized. Protect these okay? people how? The way you want them to? The fucking drop the price and, 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 and then what? Get fucked in the ass like that? Use your weapons license! Get out there, put a fucking mask on, and make sure they can do their job safely! Instead <laughs> of just sitting by the wayside! How about you fucking fund the PD and have them do something around here, eh? I am, motherfucker! Unlike you, I am just doing more than fattening my fucking pockets! <laughs> yeah, it seems like uh, you're not fattening your pockets at all, huh? That's a nice car. <laughs> I took out a $150,000 yeah, yeah, loan for this yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our money for a while okay this took all of our marital monies right right it's such a hard life you live in it's that's hey i work really hard i'm you sure you weapons been. license yeah and yeah you ever stopped one of these robberies before that's what the police are for right <laughs> okay all right uh, I have already gotten down the police's ass so far, and I've docked their pay for failing to actually enforce this. And I've given them methods to enforce it, and encourage them very heavily to do so, because if they don't, I will continue dropping their pay. Uh, you can sit there and snicker and giggle while I try to broker peace <laughs> for your workers. But you aren't doing shit either, you motherfucker. No nothing, Mr. Mayor, all right? You're fucking useless. You think I'm useless? What How dare you tell your fuck? fucking people to drop the price? Forget about Promise. it. Why don't you get out of here, huh? Hey. Hey, you should be really careful. You know, near the near the trash, things can catch on fire, and it looks like you've got an entire fucking bottle of hairspray in your fucking hair. Holy shit! <laughs> Who uses that much product? You do. You got red hair. No, it's natural. Hey, right? his hair looks amazing. <laughs> Take care. Dumbass. Well. That's our mayor right there, everybody. He doesn't give a shit about us. Comes into our yard telling us to drop our fucking prices. Oh. Incredible. Incredible.